I'm Vijay Kalyan Jha from MBA 100 and here in this very short session, we are going to discuss almost all the questions of quantitative aptitude that were asked in SRCC GBO 2023. I'm sure most of you were caught by a big surprise when you went through the questions here in this section. So here are the questions. Of course, here it was one of the simpler ones and the answer is option C, 90. All right, here interestingly, you could get the answer by just observing the question carefully. Look at the first two terms. These two terms together give you something more than three. All right. Look at the options. B and C cannot be the answers. B is less than two. So is C. All right. What about D? D is very big. Isn't that? So the only possible option is A. There's the answer. All right. What about this one? Easy. One by root U plus one by root V. What about this one? Slightly time taking and the answer is 10x square minus 28x plus 25 equal to 0. An interesting question and it had a trap also. Hey, how many of you marked 1275 as the answer? You needed to subtract 1 from 1275 and the answer is 1274. 1275 was given as one of the options. All right. What about this one? x plus y is equal to 99. HCF of x and y is 2. So both x and y are even numbers. So how can sum of two even numbers be 99? Hence the answer is 0. All right. What about this one? Here, they tried to trap you by putting terms like profit and loss. Actually, the question is 10% of A is equal to 20% of B is equal to 15% of C. And that gives the answer as 6 is to 3 is to 4. What about this one? If you read it, I'm sure you will get the answer. That is 5. Okay. Here, B is the largest number that divides 8 to the power 8 and B is a perfect cube also. All right. Now, 8 to the power 8 is 2 to the power 24. So, the biggest cube that can divide it is 2 to the power 8. That is nothing but 256. All right. Okay. What about this one? This question looks dangerous, especially those people who have not stayed in touch with mathematics of classes 11 and 12 right but here look ultimately function of minus x should be equal to minus of function of x all right that is always true for sine sine of minus x is minus sine x but that is not true for cos cos of minus x is cos x itself right hence the coefficient of the cos part should be zero so aj is zero all right just keep that in mind otherwise it won't be possible was one of the difficult questions for sure. So was this one. Mostly people do not get to practice such questions, right? And here the answer is option B. All right. What about this one? I tried to do this question for almost 10 minutes in the examination hall. All right. I asked a girl also who was sitting on my right if she could get the answer to this question. She also said that no, it is probably incorrect. I came back home, tried to do it again. I get 1.25 by centimeter cube. All right, which was none of the options. 5 was one of the, 5 pi was one of the options. So was 1.5 pi. But the answer that I got was 20 by 16. 20 into 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 pi. All right, so the answer should be 1.25 pi, which was certainly none of the options. So in our opinion, this is one of the faulty questions. All right. What about this one? An unusual question. All right, but simple one. Answer is zero. Just do it. Another question where we believe there was a typo. All right. Will it become 18 by 16? The actual question should have been 81 by 16. And then the answer would be 8. All right. 2 into 4, 8. But here they had put 18 by 16 to the best of my memory. Please do let us know in comments if you think that no, they had put 81 by 16. All right. Anyway, we would come to know once the response sheets are out. All right. Okay. On number line, what is the distance between any given number from the double of the same number? Hey, double of zero is zero. Please keep that in mind. And all those people who kept that in mind got this answer. All right. So now they're going to get one mark for this. One man and one woman. All right. Seven and a half days. Age old question. So is this one. Right. Basically, the HCF of all these numbers is 32. So you just needed to divide each one of the numbers by 32 and get the sum of all the quotient 64 by 32 to 192 by 32 6 like this all right okay 45 age old question 
18, 21 by 35 days. We haven't cut it short, 21 by 35. We haven't cut it, cut it short. Why? In the examination also, the option was given like this. All right. Here, one of the conceptual questions, but a simple one, right? 333 and 153. There were two more combinations which were possible as value of 2x plus y. All right. Okay, conceptual question. Here, the mod of function of x will become a constant function if you are at 3 or minus 3 or to the left of minus 3 or to the right of 3. All right, so of course, the answer has to be to keep it less, less than 6, you need to be in between 3 and minus 3. And in between 3 and minus 3, there are only 5 integers, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. That's your answer. All right, a good question. Okay. Simple one, isn't that? 1 minus 5 by 6 into 5 by 6. So 1 minus 25 by 36 will give you 11 by 36. That's your answer. All right. What about this one? If you read it, I unfortunately could not see it in the examination. All right. But it doesn't matter to me, but it matters to you. So could you find out this question? Just read it. You will enjoy. In a company, one trained person. Ideally, they should have put one of the options as 6. Many people would have marked that. That would have been a good trap option. But the answer is 16 to 3, 18. All right. Okay. Mr. X finished 60% of the work. Answer is 1.5. Okay. What about this one? A sitter for sure. Okay. All right. I'm sure you know the meaning of sitter. And from where does it come? One of the conceptual questions again. Okay. Answer is B. You get square root of 25. That gives you 5 here. All right. Another conceptual question, if you're comfortable with the basis, okay, you will get the answer. 11 into 1, hey, this 11 is in base 3. So in base 10, its value would be 4. I do not remember if 4 and 2 was also one of the options. But had they put 4 and 2, or if they have put 4 and 2, I do not know, as one of the options, then that's a very good trap. Okay, but they very clearly asked you to get the values in base 3. So 4 becomes 11 in base 3. All right. Age old question. Answer is 10, of course. You can get it easily. All right. Now here, those people who have been in practice, they're supposed to get it in 10 seconds. Well, I tell you why. Because in any quadratic equation, if some of the coefficients is 0, it means x equal to 1 would certainly be one of the roots. Now here, this is very easy to discover that 3 minus 7 and 4. Similarly, minus 7, 4 and 3. Okay, so if you go for k equal to 4, some of the coefficients in both the equations becomes 0. And hence, you will certainly get a common root that is x equal to 1. All right, so of course the answer is 4. What about this one? To me and my friend Ashutosh, this was the question of the test. All right, why? There's absolutely no difficulty. It checks your power of observation. All right, I just discovered that my power of observation is very poor because I tried to do this question in the examination hall for almost 10 minutes, came back home. The question was still here. Tried to do it again. All right, could not do it. When I woke up in the morning today, ultimately I was able to crack it and I felt so good about it. You know, initially it seems there's a very harmless series. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, but hey, all of a sudden 19 disappears. Then you do not have 23 or 29 either. All of a sudden 31 and 37. What about 41? What about 47? And you know the logic. The logic is that for all the numbers that are here in the series, not only that these numbers should be prime, even if you create a number by reversing the digits, that should also stay prime. Like, reverse the digits of 13, you get 31. That is a prime. 17, 71. That's a prime. 31, 13. Prime. Reverse the digits of 37, 73. Prime. All right. But if you put something like 23, by reversing the digits of 23, you will get 32, not a prime number. Which is why you do not have numbers like even 19. You do not have. Because if you reverse the digits of 19, you get 91. That is certainly not a prime number. So, the number next to 71 is 
73, of course. Reverse the digits of 37. 73, you get 37. Of course, a prime number, right? Next to that would be 79 because 97 is also a prime number. But hey, you cannot put 83 here in this series because by reversing the digits of 83, you will get 38. Okay, so what knowledge is required in order to crack this question? That of a third grader. Okay, kya aap tisri class se tez hai? All right, question number 33. Main nahi hu. All right, so the ratio of incomes, a age old question, right? They have skewed it slightly, and the answer is 20 is to 3. Question number 34. Age old question again, right? You get x equal to 5, and hence the value of the expression comes out to be 160. Hey, are you listening to me? Okay, question number 35, again age old question, right? So answer is 2 by 9. And I was able to recall or Ashutosh and I were able to recall 5 questions of English also. Okay, and, and these questions are actually good, but they test, your, they test your knowledge. Okay, not much of thinking. Find the odd one out. Okay, here the answer is delightful because delightful is the only adjective here. Remaining three are nouns. All right. What, what about this one? A group of stars is constellation. A group of cats is, is clouder. Okay. Pack is a group of dogs or wolves. Troop is a group of, group of, tell me and tell me fast. Troop is a group of monkeys or Kangaroos, parliament is a group of, very interesting, parliament is a group of politicians. No, it's a group of owls. All right, here your answer is clouder. What about this one? You have to match the synonyms, right? So appropriation is allocation. Almost every, everyone knows, right? Accost, if you accost someone, you confront the person, right? Like you would be accosting me uh, if the cutoff, for general category for this test goes above 300 right okay because my prediction is that should stay around 300 below 300 actually all right okay a propose pertinent so this is your answer okay anomaly the opposite the antonym of that would be conformity if there's an anomaly there is an aberration right she can read dishonesty honesty eulogy if you eulogize someone, you praise the person a lot. Sunshine. All right. So these are your answers. What about this one? An interesting question. They asked you to get the meaning of coalesce in a given context. And here in the given context, the answer was collaborate. There's a famous book also, The Collaborator on Kashmir. All right. So these are the questions that we have been able to recall for you. I'm sure you enjoyed the session and most important, you must have been able to calculate your more or less calculate your score in quantitative aptitude section. And you must have got some idea about your English score as well. Please do join our telegram group and we have put the PDF of all these questions in the description of this video. So if you're interested in that, please do dig that out and please do like the session. I'm sure you liked it. Okay, share it with your friends and foes and you cannot afford not subscribing to MB100, I'm confident. Thank you, all the best for the results.